I'm making mobs better in Minecraft by giving them progressive growth cycles. First, I'll be making the villager better by turning it into a villager knight and a baby villager. I'll start with this emerald villager shape, then make it beefy. It's gonna be a super strong knight after all. Give this guy some super long arms and this part will become a helmet. But right now, it kind of looks like an old man's hair. But I also can't forget to give him a weapon to hold. We'll come back to this awesome axe later. Now, let's really make it look more like a villager. Get the basic coloring done, and now it's time to emeraldify him. So I added this giant emerald design to the chest plate and really went to town making the emerald axe as well. Now to fix the body and animations. I also thought it'd be cool to add this long flowing cape with the villager knight complete. Now for the baby. And I'll start by shrinking the villager body down to just the head. Bring that nose up and make some room for this pacifier. Now I'll make these stubby arms and stubby legs. I'll have the baby villager walking on all fours, of course. Now let's make it start looking like a real villager. It's definitely kind of cursed, but you know we had to give it the unibrow. And now look at those gorgeous green eyes. This is absolutely ridiculous looking right now. Oh my God. I went ahead and made this extra piece at the back to give the baby a diaper. Now that is one cursed baby villager. But let's see how they look in game. Look at how cute this little guy looks. We got his nose on point. He's got that diaper on tight, holding everything in. We shouldn't have to worry about much other than protecting this little guy as I intentionally put this baby's life into danger. <laughs> and our baby is crying. Oh, it's so realistic. It's hurting my ears. Don't worry, baby. I'll save you. Yeah, I got you. Okay, you can stop crying now. Stop the crying. Stop. Not so good with the children. All we need to do is turn this little guy into an adult. Just advance very quickly through puberty and we have ourselves our adult villager. He's already gone to work doing whatever it is that villagers do. But midlife is boring. Let you grow up even further. Embrace your identity. The night villager. You turned out out amazing. And of course, our knight villager is no longer helpless. Kaboom. Try to take on our knight. Blast him with the emerald blast of death. Buddy, come on. You can do it. Oh, yikes. I may have to take this upon myself. How did you not do enough damage? This thing is so beefy. Look at that. The two hit wonder from a distance. I guess me being able to hold the axe for myself was a worthy sacrifice of my creation. In honor of your life, we'll give you a 9.7 out of 10. This axe is juicy. Now, let's Let's make the wolf better by giving it pup and dire wolf variants. And I'll need to kick things off by shrinking that wolf body. It looks so dumb right now, but we'll fix it. Time to get a total makeover. Here are some long ears and a brand new head. Now look at that adorable face. Then I did some subtle texturing all around the body. Wolf pups also have these orange and red colors in the fur, I guess because they haven't grown up yet. Either way, it works perfectly for the mob we're making. This might just be the the best baby mob I've ever created. It's perfect. Flawless! Now for the dire wolf. Unlike the pup, we'll be making all these body parts way bigger. And they will be this jet black color too. Ferocious. The regular wolf isn't cutting it. So I started needing to create some of these limbs from scratch. But I'm going to use this wolf face as the base for our dire wolf's head. Attach it and paint it all black too. Then I gave it a red mouth and these super sharp teeth. Now for the best part, the eyes. One will be this bright red and the other will have a scar. I decided to give it ears like this and this thick fur shape all over the body. I nearly forgot to give it a tail. Can you imagine if we made a tailless wolf? Now let's get some texturing done. Here are some claws for them toes and to really give it the sense that it has seen some serious battle. I added some scars on the flesh too. I definitely would not want to mess with this wolf, but let's see how scary it really is in Minecraft. There you go, buddy. Welcome to your new home. Look at that tiny little tail and that little tongue. Let's give you an adult wolf to hang out with. You can watch over little baby wolf over there. And they have packed up. Look, the baby's gonna follow the mom around wherever she goes. Let's bring in a little danger to put this pack to the test. Boom, pillager. Don't look at me. Look at them. 
attack them. Appears that our wolves are pacifists. It looks like it's up to me to teach our baby wolf a lesson. Life isn't easy, buddy. Bam. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. The dire wolf joined us. And the baby's crying. No, please don't cry. Please don't cry. The dire wolf came to protect the baby? Yikes. Oh, my word. It's a pack of them. They spawned in the trees. I'm so sorry. I take it back. But our wolves are growing up. Oh, it's the big wolf that turned into the dire wolf. Oh, my gosh. These dire wolves look so intense. Our baby wolf is just remaining protected, though. Oh, not anymore. Looks like our baby wolf got motivated. Evolving into a regular wolf. He's running off on his own now. Oh, looks like he's ready to change again. Another dire wolf incoming. Oh, my golly. These guys look dangerous. Oh, they're howling. The dire wolf will howl, grow in size, and then charge down. Oh, yikes. That's a lot of leftovers. The pack has cornered villagers in the open and they are gone so fast, leaving only bones behind. Now, we're friends, right? I come bearing gifts. Have... Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. No, please don't. Don't. Don't howl at me. I'm, I'm so sorry. Bye. Oh, wait, you were protecting me from behind? Thank you, dude. You and the entire pack, everybody gets a 9.2. The baby wolf, though, golly, that crying, I can't take it anymore. 4.5. Now, I want to make the chicken better, which means we start with the egg and a dragon version. For the baby, I duplicated a chicken body and turned it into this egg shape. Turn it all egg color, then shrink it down and open it up. I'm hungry for some omelets. But once I got the egg part complete, I went back to the chicken, shrinking it down into this little baby face. Look at this little guy. Plop him inside of the egg where he belongs and make him yellow. And then I'll add some feathers to just round it out. And now for the awesome part, the chicken dragon. I'll be starting with a regular chicken here too, but it's gonna have to get a lot bigger. I'll be using all parts of the chicken to make this one look totally awesome. I used this red part to make some dragon horns, then gave it these giant black eyes on the side of the head. Now open up that mouth, buddy. We're gonna need some dragon fangs in there. Oh yeah, just like that. Now I'll duplicate this part to start to make the neck and the body. It might be a dragon, but it's still a chicken at heart. So we got to give it those chicken feet with some sharp talons. This guy is looking amazing. Let's get to work on the wings. I created this feather texture that I'll use for those and I'm going to need a lot. I wanted to try and make it look like it had both feathers and scales. It wasn't easy, but after some work, I'm pretty happy with how it came together. Let's find out for sure in game. His first sight, the egg just cracked, experiencing the world for the very first time, and I'm hungry as ever. But don't worry, I've built in safeguards so we don't take this guy and munch him down. Just gotta get close enough to get a solid grip, and we got him! The hatching egg. We ate the chicken. All the other chickens are coming to attack us! Every chicken in the village has turned on us. My goodness, they're very fast too. I need to get this guy down now. Oh my gosh. Unlimited chicken spawning until we put their egg back down. Yikes. Our little chicken moving on to adulthood. Welcome to the world, little fella. Oh my gosh. Look here. Here's another baby for you. I'm a little hesitant to turn you guys into the dragons you were always meant to be. It looks like this chicken is becoming the dragon first. Oh my gosh. The dragon chicken. This guy looks like a rooster at first from the back or some sort of massive eagle hawk. And he's angry. Oh my goodness. He's furious. He's turned on the other chickens in the village. That is one very angry mama chicken and is working her way across the entire village. More angry at the chickens. The ability of the rest of these chickens to stick together in a pack in order to protect the baby chick is impressive. And the fury of the mama dragon chicken is one to be highly concerned for. So majestic, yet so powerful. Pack quality 7 out of 10. Mama chicken? Only because I'm afraid 8 out of 10. For the skeleton, I'll be making broken and titan versions of it. I'll start by shaving this skull down and adding this crack effect on top. Get rid of this entire skeleton and bring the skull down to the ground. I'll still need those noodle arms though. They are going to be magically attached to the skeleton mob, making it crawl on the ground like this. And I wanted to make it look like there's a pile of crumble the bones below the skull too. But it isn't totally helpless. It will be holding these bone swords. I got a bone to pick with you. 
Yikes. Let's make the Titan now. We'll start with the skeleton base again, but this one is gonna be crazy. Trust me, I'll make this piece that will become the new skull. Give it some dark eye sockets and these crazy bright green pupils. Now for those chompers. But the real crazy part is going to be this long rib cage for the body. And now the giant bony arms with these creepy skeletal fingers. To really bring the mob together, I gave it this entire skeletal spine and then added all of these skeleton hands coming off of the body. This guy is looking creepy. I have turned this into a skeletal abomination. And on top of that, I'll even give it this bone tail. After some final touch-ups, the skeletal titan is looking beautiful. But let's see how it really looks in Minecraft. This is perfect for our crumbled skeleton. Look at how helpless this body of bones looks. Man has hidden powers that we do not want to test. Only one way to ensure our safety, I can sneak up on you very, very carefully. How did you have a baby? What is going on here? Some sort of cursed magic. That's right. I can catch up. I might not be able to catch up. It's okay. Not to worry. I have a new plan. Boom. <laughs> Give us your brains! And now we've got the cursed skull. This thing is fun. Pro tip for life. If you find a body of bones crawling on the ground, do not approach bad idea. I'm all one for bad ideas. Throw on, the oh golly, the curse begins. Blindness is upon us. Oh my gosh, can we make it out of here? Run to the portal as fast as, oh, we're getting nauseous. We're getting nauseous. Eat steak, eat steak. Horrible, horrible. I really should learn to follow my own advice every once in a while. Let's watch you grow up into a normal skeleton. Oh, golly. Yeah, that daylight hurts. Let's see if he can grow up fast enough before he burns in the sunlight. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Oh, my word. This is the most cursed thing I have ever seen in Minecraft. Look at the face on this thing. Our skeleton titan will sniff us out. We have to be very careful. Oh, come get this beef. Can't go anywhere if I stand still. He can only sense us if we move around, but then he can chase us down unless we stare him down. I'm the creator, Mr. Skeleton Titan. I dare it. I forgot about that part. 9.2 out of 10. You are disgusting. I'm going to make the Iron Golem better by giving it baby and mecha variants. So let's shrink down this Iron Golem big time. Look at that tiny little body. Let's recolor it so it'll be more earthy. I think a baby iron golem would be made of stones. So that's what I'm going for here. And the head won't work here. So let's shrink it and turn it into an eye. A big yellow eye will be perfect. Put it inside the body, change the color to be more stone-like. And then I'll start making this cobblestone texture on it. We'll use this all over the golem. Now for the green moss on the head. Even as a baby, it still has this stuff growing all over. I created another piece and I'm going to use this to make some flowers on top. It's like a boot bouquet of roses growing from the golem skull. Now it's time for the mecha. I'll detach this iron golem torso and move it up like this, then start to recolor the whole thing this metallic blue. I'll change the eyes to red to make it really get that robot look. I also added this hatch in the back with a door swung open. This is going to be where someone controls it. Now I'll add this digital rose design to the front and it's time to retexture things chrome. I went ahead and added some long robot arms just like this and fix the legs in the same way. I also wanted to make the driver's seat extremely comfy looking. And with some final exhaust pipes and robot parts, that just leaves us with the joysticks to control the golem. This is sweet. Let's give it a spin in game. The one eye is a little bit freaky. Overall, this baby iron golem turned out super cute. These guys are not to be joked about. We know how big they can get and we made them even bigger. Those little tiny baby golem arms do pack a punch though. A big, massive, juicy punch. Let's bring some pillagers in here and see what happens to these poor guys. Look at this baby golem chase them down. Oh, the arms are strong, but the baby golem is still a baby. All that remains of him he is a tiny little rock. Goodbye, goodbye, and return you to life, little baby golem. It's time our baby is instantly moving into evolution, growing up into our golem. But don't stop there. The anger of the pillagers overtakes the spirit of this golem, and he instantly moves into the third phase of evolution, the mecha golem, the robot dominator, ready to take over the world. Huzzah. Now let's get to work, buddy. We have got the mech. 
completely under our control. We can use the joysticks on top to force this guy around. We can run through any block in our way, charging through the world with no regard for life. And our mech defenses have been improved greatly. Bring in a couple of these guys and then get back in our mech here and charge them all down. Boom! Every pillager up into the airy. <laughs> Bring in more pillagers and throw them all up into the air. Sayonara, guys. That was all those pillagers so quickly. The mech is very angry about what happened in childhood, and it's paying off big for us. A 9.8 out of 10. Now we'll make the spider better by making a baby and gigantic version. This spider body is going to have to get a lot smaller. My goal is to see if I can make this spider are almost cute. Very difficult job. I hate spiders. Shrink down those legs big time and rotate them so they look better. Now I'll recolor it gray and give it these big black eyes. I'll retexture the whole thing and even give it these tiny baby teeth. A creepy, beautiful baby blushing spider. Ugh. Now for the gigantic spider. Let's do this. Raise that abdomen up and make it way bigger. I want to make it into this super scary radioactive spider. So I made it green with fangs like this. Now for the creepy part, I'll give it these super long legs that have these ultra sharp points. Then color them all this yellow. Duplicate that over and over and over to make this menacing spider. I need to fix the face though. That's what's really gonna sell it. And now that it looks all right, it's time to texture this bad boy. And for the finishing touch, this radioactive symbol on its back. Kind of like a black widow, but way more dangerous. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's creepy. It's disgusting. Let's see it in Minecraft. This cave actually is perfect for our baby spider to join in, as if he crawled out of the depths of darkness as a disgusting spider would. There you are, buddy. Look at how cute he is. Still gross. Creepy crawler little guy. Massive spider sack on the back and the face. You look so helpless and vulnerable. Look at him crawl. Oh, and now you're attacking me. My goodness. You're the creepy one. I didn't mean to offend you, buddy, but you are creepy. I feel really bad about this, but I'll put you down with ease. I've got the emerald battle axe. Goodbye. Oh my word, what just happened? That is so nasty. Oh my gosh. That baby spider just spawned a whole army of spiders. This is my worst nightmare. Look at them all. They're falling down from the sky. This is disgusting. No more of them are spawning. My world is being ruined. The spiders have overtaken me. All right there, little guy. I know what you did. The spiders took over my world. My world froze, got corrupted, and had to be deleted because of you, you maniac. And now I know not to kill you. Oh, now he decides to evolve into his greater form and still attack me. Finally, a basic spider. Still equally as creepy, but my goodness. And he's already evolving again. The radioactive massive spider looks disgusting. Here, have a pillager instead. Pillager instead. After what you did to me as a baby? I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm one heart. I can't do it. These spiders are the end of me. Oh my gosh. I'm coming back with a vengeance. It's time for me to get the better of you. And I'll do it even if you can't touch me. Oh my goodness, he's getting huge. He's angry. He's so angry. Oh my word. No, stop growing. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. Do not come back. All right. You get a 10 out of 10. You get a 10 out of 10. 